Now you guys have been waiting for an update. Finally got one for you. How you guys been? It's been a long time. Well, it's finally time for an actual update on the camper. So, you know, the original idea was to make this thing mobile. Once you start adding weight to it, these platforms are not gonna hold up unless you really re-engineer it. I'm not an engineer. So, this is going to be more of a permanent structure. So I've got some property just about an hour from here. Uh, it's right by State Park. It's fantastic. And we're just gonna move this down there. We're gonna make it a permanent home for us. We go down there quite a bit and it just makes more sense just to have something like this there. And when we're not using it, I think we're probably gonna rent it out, make a few bucks on the side. Why not, right? Now that it's summertime, or I should say springtime, and winter's over, I'm gonna be able to get out here and work on this quite a bit. Especially now that I have an actual roof over my head and walls, uh, the weather is not really gonna affect me too much. Speaking of weather, it was a long winter. It seemed like every time I tried to come out here and work on it, it was snowing, freezing cold. Um, I've gotten a little soft in my old age, so I'm not gonna come out here when it's freezing cold and snow's whipping in my face. No, I'll wait. I'm not in a huge hurry to get this thing done. Uh, but now that it is springtime, I'm going to put a lot of work into it. So in the redesign, in one of the problems that I noticed was, like I said, the weight on these platforms, it's just too much. And the one on the opposite side over here, it was leaning way down. So I actually had to get a jack, uh, one of those little farmer jacks, and prop it up and get it straightened up to where I could actually finish um, putting up the walls because at that angle the walls weren't lining up so I had to jack it up, straighten it out. But now that we've got that jack under it, it's, it's, it's pretty much level. Um, this side wasn't as bad and I'm not really sure why but it does kind of lean down a little bit too. So I think once I get it down to the property, I'm going to have to support it with some probably 4x4 four four posts into the ground. Uh, it's just too much weight. And if I keep adding more stuff onto the walls, uh, the interior walls, insulation, uh, etc., it's going to probably just break and fall off. Uh, so I want to really support that, make it real strong so that we can fit in here. Um, you know, my family. Uh, speaking on the interior parts, this bed is way too small for me. I'm six foot six. I'm not gonna fit in this. No way. Unless I sit up, eh, that ain't gonna work. So all my plan is extend this out to where I can actually lay down this way. Uh, I'll probably leave the other side alone. I think I'm gonna probably pull out all of the cabinets, uh, the stove, the sink, the water tank and do some rearranging on it. Uh, make it a little bit more user friendly, specifically for me. Um, like I said, because I'm a tall freak. And gonna make it fit for us and hopefully other people will enjoy it too. Uh, so yeah, check out and see what I've done. Viola.
so I left the old canvas on there to help keep it protected. I'm glad I did because it was a long winter and I wasn't able to get out here. So now I'm ready to put the roof section onto the room part, I guess you would call it. Served its purpose, so I'm gonna rip this sucker out. I'm glad to see this go. Because it is nasty. Forty-five years of funk and grime right here. And lots of moths. It's a real bad moth year. They're everywhere. Ugh, moths. What I'm gonna do is put a support beam across here, lay the panel over, and it's gonna come down at an angle so all the water or snow or whatever can come off and not really settle on the roof and leak in. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess. So it's just gonna be a small pitch, nothing crazy. Uh, just gonna have to let the water run off, that's really it. I'm just gonna run it here. Make sure it's level and then lay the board across there and it'll have a slight slope and then I'll trim the excess. And that's gonna be my roof. And speaking of roofs, it did have a leak. Uh, even though I had thought I had fixed it, this time I went around with um, the bed liner coating. It's pretty strong, durable. Hopefully that'll hold, and I'm going to paint it back to the original color. That way it doesn't get too crazy hot. So I'll paint over it. It'll look normal-ish. You can see all the hail damage, crazy hail damage. Ooh. Seems to be way off. I gotta do some trimming on this one side. Ah, it's split. Damn it. Let's fix that. I'll trim off the excess there. Get a little bit. I wish I had a little bit more of an overhang. But I'll straighten that out. Some wasp nest hiding in there. These guys are quick to build. Well, if there's not any buddy home. Nasty, nasty, nasty. These little things. Damn these guys. It's one thing about where we live. Got a lot of these things, and they will make a home anywhere. All right. Well, Mr. Top, you did your job for 45 years. Not bad. So apparently it wasn't filming, but I did just install this board. I don't know. So this corner needs a little bit of work. I need to make some adjustments there. And 
We're good on this side. They said it was gonna rain. And of course, horrible timing. <sighs> Got a little water in there. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I knew this side was gonna be worse because it's not squared up. This side, ugh, not so bad. Hopefully it doesn't damage or didn't damage the wood. I should have left the old canvas. I think it had one more day to do its job. And I fired it a little too soon. Dang it. Uh, good news is I think my leaky ceiling is good. So that'll hold for now until we get it to its new home and then we'll really mount this. So on to the other side. Wonder how many I'll lose. I think I hit a screw. Good enough for now. So I'm gonna take this window out, put up some siding. We're already taking the screws out, so we'll get this thing out of the way. And I forgot my drill. I'm just kind of using the scrap pieces that I had from doing the other sides. I think I'll bring it out it's about right there. how good my measurements are. Hey, not too bad. A little bit of a gap, that's all right. Fix 
set in later. I just gotta finish up around the top all around and the exterior is in place. I wouldn't call it done by any means. There's still a lot left. You know, got a lot of gaps, weird angles, but it's gonna keep the rain out. So I'm happy about that. On this side, I've just got to cut out where the window goes and reinstall the window. Other than that, the outside siding is on. 